Hi, today I am going to make this very cute gift paper bag made entirely of paper with a cute little ribbon at the back. Opens up. You have this double sided tape so that you can stick this flap over like this. Any child would love to receive this. Materials I am using for this are two sheets of paper. This is slightly, uh, it's not a very stiff paper, it's card paper in pink and white and a black colored pen. Now on the white sheet which is approximately 42 centimeters wide so first and it's about uh, 29 centimeters long like this so I'll just draw a line about 5 centimeters away so I'll just measure 5 centimeters And then just connect the dots. Just confirm whether it's five. Yeah. Now the sheet will be divided into four parts, making the four sides of the box. So I'm just making it uh, first I'll make a put a point on eight centimeters and then from that point twelve centimeters and then again eight centimeters. and 12 again so I'll be left with a 2 centimeter gap here on one side so just first make the same marks again 8 12 8 Now depends how long you want the box so basically I'm not making a very big box because I want the flap also. So I'll just put the uh, make the line about 16 centimeters long because that will be the height of the box of the bag sorry. So And then join these the tops of these lines now on the side which has this 5 cm so I'll just extend the line Now you take the compass, so this the wider side is 
as I said it's 12 centimeters so I'll just take uh, half of that that's 6 centimeters and put a mark a center mark on this that's again six centimeters so first just draw very lightly the circle semicircle like this and now I'm just going to extend this further so this will go so this has to be a little freehand this kind of a thing like this so this is how it will look now on the lower side on the narrow uh, rectangles just make lines at an angle at a slant on both sides And similarly on this one also now take a paper knife and on all the straight lines not on this one on all the straight lines just score a bit very lightly just run the knife on it on the paper Then on this long one, and on the side where this curve is, so just on the straight line. like this so now I'll just cut it out so you need to cut out this square this rectangle sorry so you have this Like this, I'll cut out the uh, these lines and here. So this is how it will look after it's cut. Now, uh, on the thin, you know, on the thinner rectangle, just measure out the center point. So this was eight. Let's put a point at four. And then 
very lightly using the paper knife just score very lightly till this point till this horizontal point and I'll do the same on this one also so now I just fold on all these lines and because of the scoring it's very easy to fold you give neat folds like this and the middle fold that we put in 8 cm it will be outwards like this not till the whole not till the base just about as much you got all the fold lines so first just apply glue on the on this flap which is two centimeter wide especially along the fold line bring the side over and this will go inside this is the flap so just we'll just just stick it like this and you can bend it make it easier to stick And just fold these two like a cutting box the bigger side will go in so put one inside apply glue on the edge and put the other one on it so there are sticks and on these also the side flaps And then you just put it on a space and press it down with something so I'm using a scale or you can put something heavy in it just put this glue bottle right. so this is how it will turn out this will be the flap like this nice little paper bag so now from the pink paper I'm just going to cut out a very thin strip less than half a centimeter wide like this now take the bag and just sort of measure it and then cut it here so I need three of these kind of strips cut one more and I'll cut a little more from this strip So 
So even if it's slightly longer, it's okay. This way. So you have three strips. Now from the pink paper again, I have cut out a triangle like this. So on this uh, nose, just apply some glue. And stick these strips. like this. I'll just turn it over so I'll just first apply some more glue on it. Take the bag and on this flap just stick it giving a slight gap. Like this. Take the black colored pen and just mark out two eyes right above the nose. So this is the nose. So I'll just um, you know, mark out two eyes. And they don't need to be you know at the same uh, height. One can be slightly higher, so it looks cute. Like so. I've cut out the shape already from the white paper. So I'll just, and these are two pink shapes that I've color, you know, cut, which are basically fitting in this, inside the ear, like this. So I'll just stick both of them on it. So first just place them. It'll come like this. These would be almost as big as the flap of the face. Otherwise you can see accordingly. Now just first place it on this to see how it looks. So see the, take the approximate height like this. First I'll just uh, make the same edge. Apply glue. Stick it in the center like this, and again, it's better to keep some weight on it. So, I'll just put this bottle and let it dry. So, this is how it will look with the ears like this. Now, I have cut uh, two more shapes almost egg shapes 
like this these are the feet so first I'll just apply some glue on just position it try not to stick the edges so that it looks as if you know the foot is above the body and similarly take this one position it like so now I've cut these pink circles small circles six of them so just take one apply glue and stick it on the top of the foot take the next one this will come slightly lower on one side these circles are all uh, the same shape and size like so and similarly on this side also I will stick the other thing now take a bit of the double sided tape this is of course optional you can just stick it after putting the gift if you like I am not going to take off this tape and I will just stick this on this So that when after you put the gift inside or chocolates or whatever you can just stick it like this now if you want this is of course optional because the ears show like this so I'm just going to apply some glue in the center and I've made this bow of pink ribbon this as I said is optional if you don't want to you don't need to and just stick it on this So that the line of the ear is hidden and let it dry I have cut a small square and I'm just going to divide it into half so just like and draw a line with the black pen like so now apply glue on this so these will be the teeth of the rabbit just see how long you want them and then just stick them so these should also come in the center of the face like this if these are too long like it is now so I can just cut it off and this is how the cute little rabbit box would look